Welcome to Module 2. This module looks at aircraft positioning. The objectives that we have for this module are to 1. Refresh your knowledge on GNSS and its augmentation. 2. Explain how the position is calculated and presented on the A320 in normal and degraded conditions. And three, to introduce RAIM and RAIM prediction. GNSS is the Global Navigation Satellite System. It is a worldwide position and time determination system that includes one or more satellite constellations, aircraft receivers and system integrity monitoring. It's augmented as necessary to support the required navigation performance for the intended operation. GPS is the Global Positioning System, the satellite system operated by the United States. There are other constellations in orbit though, such as Beidou, GLONASS and Galileo. GPS is a navigation system consisting of a minimum constellation of 24 satellites. These satellites provide complete global coverage and the GPS system provides Position computed in WGS84 reference system and high accuracy. Augmentation systems complement the core satellite constellations to increase the quality of positioning. This augmentation could be based on aircraft systems, aircraft based augmentation systems or ABAS, geostationary satellites, satellite based augmentation systems, SBAS, and ground stations, ground based augmentation systems known as GBAS. Note, the A320 uses ABAS for RNP AR operations via provision of GPS position augmented by IRS data. In normal operation there are two independent position computations using GPS. For example, multimode receiver 1 processes the data received from GPS-1, transfers it to ADIRU-1, which then computes the GPIRS-1 position, which will be used by the FMS-1 to compute the FMS-1 position. Each FM computes its position using IRS and GPS or IRS and radio aids in case of loss of GPS. Pure GPS data is displayed on the GPS monitor page on the Multipurpose Control and Display Unit, the MCDU. Aircraft symbol on ND1 is related to FM1 position. ND2 displays the aircraft symbol related to the FM2 position. AP and FD are using their on-side FMS position. The GPS monitor page on MCDU1 or MCDU2 displays pure GPS position true track, ground speed, estimated position, accuracy level and mode of operation 
for the information and use of the flight crew. Please note that the terrain on both navigation displays is displayed by using the GPS 1 position. The GP IRS position is characterised by two parameters integrity and accuracy. The ADIRU provides the aircraft position along with its estimated accuracy. The estimated accuracy is the possible error or uncertainty level between the real and the computed aircraft position. In other words, the crew may be sure that the real aircraft position is located with a 95% probability within a circle around the computed aircraft position. The radius of the circle is the estimated accuracy. The estimated accuracy is displayed on MFD position slash monitor page as the estimated position error, EPE. The accuracy criteria is met when EPE is less than one times the required RNP value. If EPE is more than one times the required RNP value, the system is unable RNP. Thus, the RNP procedure may not be flown. Note that from the A330 program onwards, this EPE is now called Estimated Position Uncertainty, EPU. Navigation integrity measures the level of trust the crew can place in the aircraft's computed position. If the integrity criteria is met, the real aircraft position remains within a determined circle for 99.999% of the flight time, considering undetected navigation system malfunctions. The radius of this circle measures the integrity. Only GNSS provides the integrity. The integrity criteria is met when GPS primary is declared. The accuracy is normally around 20 metres and the integrity around 0.1 nautical miles or 185 metres. The ADIRU continuously monitors the integrity and the accuracy of the GPIRS position. The GPIRS integrity is a direct function of the number of satellites in view of the aircraft. Note, when the MMR can track four or more satellites, it enters nav mode and continuously supplies data to the ADIRUs. RAIM is the acronym for Receiver Autonomous Integrity Monitoring, which needs a minimum of five satellites for fault detection and a minimum of six satellites for fault detection and exclusion. Note, a minimum of four satellites are required to enter the navigation mode. As long as the GPIRS position fulfills both the integrity and the accuracy criteria, then GPS primary is displayed on the MCDU PROG page. For RNP AR operations, the flight crew must check before flight that GPS primary is predicted available. This prediction should take into account the terrain environment. 
if the GP IRS position of a FMS does not meet the integrity and accuracy criteria, then the AMBER GPS primary lost message is displayed on the corresponding navigation display and in the scratch pad of the corresponding MCDU. The onboard performance monitoring and alerting capability uses RAIM and other aircraft sensors like speed, altitude and IRS drift to provide the GPS primary message and alerts. The GPIRS integrity is a direct function of the number of satellites of the GNSS constellation in view of the aircraft. Airbus recommends the use of a ground-based prediction program in order to check GPS primary availability at the estimated time of operation in any of the following cases. For RNP-AR operations with less than 24 satellites available. Within constrained environment areas. An environment area is considered constrained in the case of possible masking of GPS satellites in mountainous area when the GPS mask angle is greater than 5 degrees. In all other cases GPS primary is available 100% of the time worldwide and also if it's required by a national authority. This is an example of a ground prediction message providing predicted GNSS outages with a risk of non-availability of GPS primary. We have now covered the following objectives in this module. We have refreshed your knowledge on GNSS and its augmentation, explained how the position is calculated and presented on the A320 in normal and degraded conditions, and introduced you to RAIM and RAIM prediction.